Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Jeff and in this video we're going to make your plane a nightclub. I'll go over this, I'll go over this kit here with you and what you're going to need. Um, most important, you're going to need some LEDs. These are some WS2812B LED strips. Um, these are specific um, LED strips in the fact that each one of these LEDs that are on here are completely assignable, meaning with the signal that goes through, we can tell it which LED does whatever color, and that's how you got that fantastic RGB effect that you saw in the beginning of the video. These LEDs also only use five volts. Um, and why is that important? Because our flight controllers put out five volts. And what we're gonna be using is, well, you can use a UART, you can use a spare servo. On the Atom RC servos, we can actually use this little, it's got a little LED one. Um, it's just a five volt and ground, and that's all we need. So we can plug in on the UART, we can plug in anywhere there's a spare, we can plug in and power this thing. We could even power this off the GPS terminal if we wanted to. The one thing we can't run it off is the uh, DJI plug because it is nine volts. A lot of your ESCs for your motors use um, have five volt BECs on them. For example, if you have an Atom RC one, this one has a five volt BEC. So you could even run this off your um, ESCs, much like the Swordfish uses for the uh, wing lighting, they use them off the five volt uh, BEC. So now that you know about this, um, how are we gonna do this? Well, we're gonna make two strips out of this. Um, it's gonna require a soldering gun, a soldering iron. You're gonna want a little bit of heat shrink. And to make life easy, a male and female connector kit. And of course, all the stuff is, this is what I bought, links in the description. This will make life easy. Uh, you're also gonna want a spare, uh, if you got servo extension cable, I believe the Dolphin comes with a spare servo lead or a three pin, I think this is called JST with leads. And we're only gonna need, uh, we'll just snip that white wire off of there because we only need the power and the ground. And again, this kit comes with the actual, this comes with like a, you call it a remote. Um, this way we can control all the different um, preset effects that it has. We can control the speed. It's just a simple three button and we're just gonna put that inside the model somewhere. Um, you could put this on a switch if you want to. Um, I do not, I just use mine. Um, plugs right in so when I plug my battery into my plane, they turn on, all is good. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to figure out how long we want these. We're gonna trim some of these excess wires off because we don't need them. And we're gonna have to make a harness. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'll make the harness and then we'll trim this and get everything mounted. And I'll show you how I'm gonna mount it on my Atom RC Dolphin. So let's get started. Okay, so next on the list, I know what my length is, and I'm gonna go ahead and trim this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trim this. This is my halfway point, and there's a big solder blob right there, so I don't really wanna do it right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and I am going to trim in front of that. And you can use scissors, whatever. You just want a good, clean cut. And... There we go. So now we got one strip. The arrows are going this way. So we, we, we always start with our connector and the arrow is going away. I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to trim off, I'm going to lob this off as well because I don't need these extra wires. We can trim our little tag. And there we go, so we got one strip. Now this one is plug and play ready. So we'll set this off to the side. 
Now, this next strip, we got to make a connector for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to lob this end off as well. There we go. That end is done. Now we can save this, obviously, because we can use the uh, connector. And now we're going to have to... Um, we're going to have to solder on our other connector and we're going to have to solder that on to right here. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I am actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to save this little solder joint right here. And that way it's already soldered. I can just heat that up, dip those in, and I should be ready to go. And there we go. All right. So now comes the fun part. Um, these come pre-tinned. They are ready to go. The other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a thing of heat shrink over this. Um, and in that kit I was telling you about, look at that. There we go. That'll slide right over. You don't need 800 feet of it. There we go. And that will slide over it. Might cover up the LED, but we'll be okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so now we can test this. I got a little switch here that I'm gonna use. We'll go ahead and hook up our power. Power's hooked up. It's switched off, it's switched off though. And we have our harness. We have our two lights hooked up. We will go ahead and plug this into, um, we'll go over to the LED side of it. We'll use that LED pin. And let's go ahead and turn this on. Aha! Look at that, dudes. And since they're wired together like this, they will change in together. Cool. And nice thing is when you shut your power off, it has a memory. So if you got something that you like, guess what? It's coming back. Yay. So now we gotta figure out where we wanna put these. And I will show you where I wanna put mine. I'm gonna mount mine on the sides like this. So that way it runs all the way down this side like so. And actually it's gonna be about to here. And then it's gonna come into the back of the aircraft. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to run my wiring on mine. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount the strips from the front going to the back. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I'm gonna run my wiring right through there. Now, if I gotta enlarge that just a little bit for this connector to clear through, I think that'll be fine. Um, and then j this just allows me from not to have to poke another hole into the body or anything else. I mean, I guess I could, I could run something in there, but, um, yeah, I'm just trying to keep as many holes out of this. I don't know. We'll find out here. Either I'm going there, I'm going there. Let's see. All right. Yep. I just went through there. I'm just going to, I just forced the connector through there. I just used my little flathead and pushed it through and that seemed to work just fine. So now we'll get all the wires ran inside. We'll get everything, we'll get everything buttoned down good. 
and I will show you the, the finished product. Of course, this stuff does come with um, peel and stick, double-sided tape. So let's get this peeled and put on and we'll see how it looks. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's turn the lights back on. Okay, so we pretty much got everything ready to go. The LEDs are on. Um, all I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put some hot glue in this sucker. Uh, I'm gonna hot glue um, these wires down just so nothing's loose. Uh, another thing I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna use regular hot glue. I'm gonna put a hot glue dab on the, on the back. Um, I had to make a bend right here. So this side I did much easier. I started farther out and it turned out great. This side, this is the one I messed with a couple times and you know, it is what it is. Uh, this side, I should have started farther out and I did it, but oh well. I'm gonna put a dab of hot glue where this little, this little piece is right here that's kind of sticking up. So hot glue there, and then I'll put a dab of hot glue on the front of it, just so that way the wind doesn't catch that spot. And I think we'll be good to go. I really do. And then we'll put a camera on this thing, fly it, and show you what it looks like. Alrighty guys, it's all done. Uh, here's what it looks like on the aircraft. Looks fantastic, I think. Um, like I said, I hot glued a little spot here in the front. Anywhere, there's some hot glue little stringies still left on there, but anywhere that it, it, cause I had to make a bend where it didn't say, I just put a dab of hot glue, dab of hot glue. I put a dab of hot glue here on the back. The wires are firm. I put a dab of hot glue right there just to hold those wires. They're not gonna go anywhere. Um, and likewise, underneath the hatch, my wires are right here in the back. I have my wiring harness right here. And then it just goes to this little, I just, I just mounted it right here. Um, all I used all I used to mount was just some double-sided foam tape. And I just stuck it right there to the uh, board, this little piece of wood. And that's it, man. Um, go and plug it in. Let's show you how cool this looks. There we go. If you are wanting attention from all the Karens that don't like planes, this is it. Dude, this thing is freaking bright. So just imagine this on the top, on the bottom, and uh, pretty cool little, little gizmo. And of course, if I want to change it, I think that looks pretty baller. Yeah, man, whatever you're into, sky's the limits. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, look down the link for, uh, down in the descriptions for all the links of everything I've used. And uh, have fun. See ya. Bye.